are we in a housing recession? No. Jeez, it's like my, I, I hate it when people say like, we're in a housing recession. So are we in a housing recession? Absolutely, positively not, okay? I'm gonna give you about five big reasons why we are not in a housing recession. And not only that, I'm gonna tell you exactly why this is a housing opportunity. But before I do, before I give you all those reasons, you gotta keep watching, but before I do, I want you to click that subscribe button. So just below the video is the subscribe button on my YouTube page. I need you to subscribe, I love the support. I need you to share this on your page to educate others, especially all my real estate agent friends. You need to share this message. As an industry, we need to be pushing this message, which is the opposite of what the media pushes, which is terrifying everybody, okay? And then of course, I need your comments. So as I give you all my reasons, go ahead and fire out your comments. Let me hear your opinions on exactly what I'm saying. But let's get started first. Number one reason we are not in a housing recession. I, I just, I cannot give you enough of how much I hate that term coming out, okay? There's a few terms I don't like them, that's one of them, okay? Number one reason, supply and demand. As of right now, it's, I'm doing this, this is the fall of 2022, it's September of 2022, I'm doing this video. Supply is still low. Supply, demand, and prices. I have news for you, everybody. Supply on anything, go buy toothbrushes, okay? Supply is still low and it is not changing anytime soon. As long as your supply of housing and your inventory is low. Now mind you, it's not as low as it was four, five, six months ago, earlier this year in 2022, but supply is still not like just booming crazy whatever. Supply is still low. This is not a recession, that's reason one, okay? Let me give you a reason two, okay? This is probably the biggest reason. The biggest reason in my opinion, this is not a housing recession, this is a housing deceleration, okay? Not a recession. House prices, home prices are not going backwards, okay? They are not going up as fast. Understand what I'm telling you. Uh, Case Shiller Index. So this is an index that's been looked at for three decades now, I wanna say, as far as home prices, okay? Average home price over the last 12 months has increased around 20%. I've seen a few other sources, the National Association of Realtors, whatever, 18.6%. Case Shiller, which is kind of the gold standard of what everybody looks at, in my industry at least, is around 20% increase. So in the last 12 months, home prices have increased 20%. It's gigantic, right? Fannie Mae projects over the next 12 months, by the end of 2023, home prices, and this is the key statement, everybody, home prices will increase 3.1%. Is that a guarantee? Of course it's not, okay? But the bottom line is, is the projection is home prices are expected to increase 3.1%. Is that the 20% for the last year? No, but it's an increase still. So here's something for you. If you're looking to buy a house and you're staying, sitting here watching me right now and you're being terrified by people putting out there that, oh my God, this, this is the housing crash is now upon us. Yeah, it's such a crash that if you buy today, it's expected the house is worth more in a year from now. And I've got news for you. I had a lot of people in 2020 and I had a lot of people in 2021 telling me, Hesh, I'm not gonna buy right now. I'm gonna wait for prices to come down. If you waited in 2020 until 2021, I got news for you, you waited too long. You waited in 2021 until 2022, waited too long. You cannot time the industry. Besides that, if you're buying a house, like you wanna buy a stock or something like that, and you wanna day trade the thing, you, you do not day trade your house, okay? This is a long-term investment, and above and beyond even the investment side, it's where you raise a family. The facts are the facts, statistics are statistics. Home ownership, nothing compares to home ownership, okay? When you own a home, you establish a base, you establish your legacy, your family, your, your community. I can go on for hours on that one. We're talking about why this is not a housing recession. So ultimately right now, our, our home price is gonna go up as fast as they have? Absolutely not. Does that make this a recession or a crash? No way. Home prices are still projected to go higher into the next 12 months, 3.1 by Fannie Mae, okay? Let me give you another reason why this is not a housing recession. From 1990, I'm gonna be a little bit off my date. I didn't bring any of my cheat sheets with me, okay? From 1991, the median price of a home in the United States, this is from the St. Louis Federal Reserve, was right around 100, I wanna say it was around $120,000, okay? By 2007, the median home price, the median price of a home in the United States, I wanna say it was around 270,000, do the math. 
in a 16-year period from 1991 to 2007, home prices more than doubled, okay? 120,000 to 270,000, the median price of a home. In that 16-year window, it more than doubled, okay? Right now, everybody's like, home prices are overinflated. Um, they, I would never buy at these stupid inflated prices. And by the way, let me hear your comments on this one, okay? I've, I've got a ton of comments. I mean, my one post, my one video had over a thousand comments on it. So, I mean, a lot of people saying they're overinflated. Well, what happened in that 16, the last 16 years, for right now, going from 2007, at a median price of $270,000, as of right now, in mid-2022, the median price, uh, the median value of a, the median price of a home in the United States is four hundred and thirty thousand dollars. From two seventy to four thirty, I've got news for you. That is not even close to near doubling. It's not even close to near doubling. So the facts are the facts. At the end of the day, that sixteen-year window where home prices went from one hundred and twenty thousand dollars to two hundred and seventy thousand dollars was a lot bigger, a lot more inflated than $270,000 up to $430,000. So the increase in home value for the last 16 years is nowhere near the previous 16 year period. And I didn't hear people complaining 16 years ago. So that's another reason this is not a housing recession. Let me give you one more and actually I'll give you two more. And then I'm gonna tell you how this is such an opportunity, okay? Give me another one. Reason, I think this is my third or fourth reason right now, okay? I call this a return to normalcy. Right now, the housing industry is getting back to a normal market. This is a return to normalcy, okay? Let me give you the reasons why this is a return to normalcy, okay? Number one, investors are basically out of the market. They're not all out of the market, and some people, my agents are gonna be watching, hash, I just had an investor off, that's wonderful. Five months ago, your average first time home buyer who was looking to buy their first home was competing with some conglomerate mega billion dollar hedge fund out of San Francisco buying up 8 million houses in a whole city, okay? They're gone, you're not competing with them anymore, okay? The cash buyers, for all my agents watching right now who are listing homes for sale, you have a lot less cash offers on the table. Now, that comes, that spins into the problem with inflation, but that's another video, okay? So that's a whole different conversation. If you get me going on that, I might just, you might just see my head explode right in front of the camera, okay? So at the end of the day, you have less investors, almost no investors. You have less cash buyers. Homes are on the market for longer. They're sitting on the market longer and that market time is going to increase and more homes will be coming onto the market. This is a normal market. Let me tell you about a normal market. So if you're a homeowner looking to sell your home, let me tell you what normal is. Because the problem is people got so spoiled over the last two years. And this, if you're a real estate agent, this is why you have to share this video with your sphere of people. They have to, we have to get this message out there. People got so spoiled over the last two years. When you'd go to meet with a homeowner and say, I think we could sell this for $250,000, they would say, I wonder how much higher we're gonna get. They got so spoiled with, we're gonna get $50,000 more than our list price. That is not normal, okay? That is not normal. It's not normal to put your house up for sale to have 20 offers, nine of them are cash offers, you know, five are investors, and then you get into the showing a home just doing FaceTime with a cell phone, people buying homes sight unseen. All of that's going down, okay? All of that's going down, almost going away as a matter of fact. When you push all of that off of the table, that's the return to normalcy that I'm talking about. In a normal market, you put a house up for sale and it sells in 30 to 60 days. It moves across time, okay? You put a house up for sale, you get a couple of offers over time. You don't get these cr people buying sight unseen, all this other stuff. This is a return to normalcy. Now, we are not normal right now. This is still, I mean, in the, the, the right house, in the right neighborhood, in the right condition is still selling above list price and getting multiple offers, absolutely. But we are moving towards normalcy. I call it a return to normalcy. Get rid of 2018, 2019, especially get rid of 2020, 2021. This is a normal housing market, okay? Carve those out. 
let me give you this final reason why this is not a housing recession and this is actually a housing opportunity. So for all the people out there considering buying a home, let me tell you why this is a housing opportunity and this is not a housing recession, okay? This is the opportunity. I just gave them as a matter of fact. No investors, you're not competing with investors anymore. When you're an average first time home buyer who's buying a home and you only have 3% to put down or 5% to put down and you're just scratching the money together and getting a gift from your parents and getting a co-signer and this and that and the other, I got news for you. You ain't competing with some investor out of California who's firing down cash and doing God knows what with buying seven houses at a time, okay? So you're not competing with the investors. You no longer have to go fifty dollars to $100,000 over the list price of the home to get it. Now, you might have to go five or ten or twenty thousand dollars over the list price to get the home you don't have to go fifty to a hundred thousand over and pay cash and do a bunch of other things this is another reason why it's an opportunity for buyers six months ago if you made an offer and the agents watching this will know this if you had a home inspection your offer is probably not getting looked at if you didn't have an appraisal gap where you actually put out there that if the house appraises for less I'm gonna cover the appraisal shortage with whatever amount of money it takes. If you didn't have those things in there, you were not even getting looked at. Today, we can go back to home inspections. We don't have to do appraisal gaps. Now again, in certain houses, in certain neighborhoods, at certain prices, yeah, you've gotta get a little extreme still. But this is back to the return to normalcy as I spoke of. So the opportunity for a buyer is, is you don't have to get so much stress over, oh my God, I've just got to fire anything out there and bleed myself dry of all of my money, okay? This is going back to the way it's been. Another thing is, is when a house gets listed, and this is why it's an opportunity for buyers, you don't have to run out today at two o'clock to go look at the house. Otherwise, it's you know, you're driving to the house to go show it or go see it. If you're the agent, you're showing it. If you're the buyer, you're seeing it. And you're sitting here saying, that your agent turns around and says, hey, we, we got to cancel. They said the house just went under contract. None of that stuff is happening, okay? So this is a huge housing opportunity. Let me close with this, okay? And I want your comments on that. So make sure you're commenting, liking, and sharing this. And don't forget to subscribe. But let me finish it with this one. In 2007, 8, 9, 10, I used to get so many calls of people buying homes. So many calls, and they would say this to me. They'd say, Hesh, we're afraid to buy because of, predatory lending, subprime loans, the mortgage crisis, all the overinflated prices, all of this, we're afraid to buy. This is what the news does to people. They scare people into sitting on the sidelines when they should be telling people this is the time to get in. In 2007, 8, 9, 10, when unemployment was at almost an all-time high since the Great Depression, when foreclosure rates were at all-time highs since the Great Depression, delinquency rates on loans, on the news, every single night, they were beating it over our heads that this is a housing crisis never seen since the Great Depression and current homeowners were taken advantage of. And then you've got this little first time home buyer saying, I'm not gonna get into this mess. You know what I was telling people? I was saying, get in and get in now. This is your opportunity. And this is what I was saying back then. Unfortunately, back then, I didn't have the videos, the YouTube, and the different stuff I have now to get the message out there. You know what I'm telling you right now, if you're looking to buy, get in now. I'd love to hear your comments on this because a lot of people are commenting, oh, he's just a mortgage guy trying to sell loans. Listen, I'm far from just a mortgage guy trying to sell loans. I've done this for 23 years. I lived it back in 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm living it now and I ain't going anywhere. And I'm telling you this right now, this is not a housing recession. We're not gonna be in a housing recession. We have no housing crisis. Houses are affordable. Mortgage rates, though higher than six months ago, are still very, very good and very low, okay? Over historical averages. I don't even care if they go up into the sevens. I've sold rates in the teens for God's sakes, okay? If you manage your budget, you pay attention to what you're spending, and you pay attention to what you're doing, there's never been a better time to get in. This is not a housing recession. And by the way, if you're a loan officer, real estate agent, if you have any affiliation to the mortgage industry at all, housing recession should be not even on the list of conversation unless you wanna beat the hell out of it and beat it down and tell people this is a great time, there's a great opportunity, and this is not a housing recession. So make sure you subscribe. Um, click that subscribe button, smash, I guess some people say smash the subscribe button. Push that subscribe button, share comment. I wanna see your comments on this page and follow, go into my next video and keep following along and I'll see you on the next ones.